this. All right, so the first part here, we're going to talk about drawing 3D objects. Now, one of the reasons I like doing 3D objects before we start reviewing our 3D objects for volume and surface area is because we have, um, by drawing it, we get to see or feel this a little bit more. One of the neat things about drawing a 3D object geometric shape is that really we are drawing two of the same shapes and then we're going to connect them. So in this case, we have a square that's on its side. So we could do a four by four cube. Two. Oops, okay, mine is not really a four by four. It's like a five by four. And then we're going to connect, sorry, let's, I'm, I will shrink it so that it is the right size. Okay, we have four line, uh, four dots here. And then four dots away, I'm going to draw exactly the same rectangle, or sorry, I'm gonna draw the same uh, square. And then I'm going to connect each of the vertices that correspond with it. I'm also going to take the eraser and erase the inside lines so that I do have something that looks like a 3D object. So we have our cube here. The next one is a cylinder. So remember we said that we're doing two of the same shapes and then we're just joining them. So because we're looking at a cylinder from a side view, the top part is not quite a circle, but it's going to be a cylinder, or sorry, an oval. And then we're gonna draw another one of these ovals down at the bottom. And then we're connecting it with lines. So we've got our cylinder here. I'm going to erase this line at the bottom because that would be the line that isn't seen. Aisha, are you able to get the, um, the cube and the cylinder as well? Aisha, if you take a look, the second um, button on the menu bar is a straight line. It's a lot easier using the straight line to draw. Our next one is a rectangular prism. I've done two different colors so that it's a little bit more obvious which ones are the inside and which ones are the um, outside. So I'm gonna first draw a rectangle. And then we're gonna to have to draw a rectangle that is identical to it, but on the other side.
and then connect all of the corresponding vertices. And then we have, I'm gonna change the colors of it so that you could see which ones are on the inside. I'm actually going to pause the video and let you um, work on this. I will make some comments, but the main idea is you need to draw two diagrams of the same thing and connect it. 